Hey there, Chelsea here, Monarch Alley. I am a vintage lover, thrifter, and part-time reseller. And today I have my weekend sold video, but I'm actually going to expand it to a full week of sales. Typically, I only go over what sold over the weekend for me, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but because I have been so busy and really had a hard time listing the last couple few weeks, my sales are actually kind of slower. So I thought I would actually expand this video to highlight everything that sold for me over the last week, which is not a ton, but my hope is that by showing you more than three items, you can get a good idea of what is selling right now on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Mercari. Shout out to List Perfectly, which is the cross-listing service that I use to be able to list my items on all those different platforms, which is always great when one platform is slower or suffering or having weird updates, other platforms can kind of come in clutch for you. And so List Perfectly is a great way to do that. And I do have a discount code. So if you're interested in cross-listing to multiple platforms with ease, I highly recommend checking out List Perfectly and using my discount code. Like I said, my sales last week were not crazy, but I have some fun ones. In fact, I sold two vintage pillowcases, so that's kind of intriguing. Maybe people have like spring fever and are redoing their uh, houses or their bedrooms. I don't know, but I'm excited to share that with you and some items from my last A to Z thrift haul, which if you haven't checked out that thrift haul yet, I highly recommend it. 26 great items, several of which have already sold. You can't argue with that. The first item to sell last week was this Minnie Mouse pillowcase. Super cute. I think I picked this up for a dollar, maybe even less than a dollar. It is in a recent thrift haul of mine. And yeah, it was just one of those cute vintage things that I couldn't pass up. I think I got it at the same time that I got a Pocahontas pillowcase, which spoiler alert, you will see later in this very what sold video. But yeah, this mini pillowcase sold for $8 on Facebook Marketplace. And what I love about Facebook Marketplace is not only is it easy to list there, but they also have the lowest selling fees at only 5%. So I made $7.60 after Facebook Marketplace fees. The next item to sell is a really fun one. It's actually from my A to Z thrift haul and it's a viewer sale. So Melanie, if you are watching Upcycle Shed, I'm so grateful for you. She picked up this pocket radio that is this really pretty lavender color. Um, I don't think I even took a good picture. So I'll probably have to use a screenshot for the graphic. Um, she has been such a great supporter of mine and we just worked out a deal that I just sold it $10 shipped to get it over to her as a way of saying thank you for all the support that she has shown me throughout my time here. And yeah, I was, I think I was just excited to send it to a friend. The next item I'm really excited about, but I would love your feedback on. So I sold this George of the Jungle watch. Um, it's a fossil watch, uh, which is a great brand to pick up. And this watch I sold untested because I'm not exactly sure what to do with the battery situation. So should I keep a few different sizes of those like smaller watch batteries like on hand to be able to test them? or should I pick up a watch and sell it untested? I know it greatly affects the value and the potential listing price, so I would be interested in getting your advice on what you would do for selling a watch. Regardless, this George of the Jungle watch sold for $19 on Poshmark. I do believe this was an offer to Likers, and so my profits after Poshmark fees and the shipping fee from the offer to liker was $12.52. Next up is something that I picked up from a previous Becky Park on Poshmark YouTube collaboration thrift haul extravaganza. It is this pizza sweatshirt, so fun. I think this is the video that we did in November, and this is one of the few items that hadn't sold. But I'm happy to say that just a couple months later, someone did accept an offer that I sent um, for the sweatshirts. I sent the offer of $14 plus discount shipping and someone went ahead and made that purchase. So I made $8.37 after Poshmark fees. The next item that sold is a set of two books from the Series of Unfortunate Events series. So I had actually picked these up at the thrift store for my son and he just really is not interested in this book series. I don't know if I should have kept them around, but we were going through our epic bookcase. This child has so many books and I'm happy for it, but something's got to go sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I went ahead and listed a few of his books and I sold these two together. Uh, I had them listed for maybe $16 with free shipping. Someone sent me an offer on Mercari of $13 with free shipping and I was happy to go ahead and accept that offer. After Mercari's fees and the cost of media mail shipping, which was about $3.80 something, I make $7 on these books. Sadly, my son did not read these books, which would have really made the $7 worth it, but I did at least triple my money. Ah, uh, this next one is awesome. This is the ASOS uh, men's floral shirt that I picked up in my men's only thrift haul. Definitely check out that video if you haven't yet. I will be doing an update video on how everything went probably in a couple weeks. I need to give it a little more time for items to sell, but here's the spoiler. This ASOS floral button down shirt, uh, it's a short sleeve shirt. Well, you're seeing the picture, aren't you? 
It sold for $25 on eBay. Someone just outright made a full price purchase, which is always the best. The buyer did pay for shipping as well. After eBay fees, I made $21 on this button down shirt. I think what helped me get a little bit more money for it is that it was new with tags. The next item to sell is this Pocahontas pillowcase. I told you you'd be seeing this. The Pocahontas pillowcase, so cute, so vintage, so cool. I did hope to get more money for the mini and the Pocahontas pillowcases, but alas, this one sold for $12 with discounted shipping on Poshmark, which really, if you think about it, is still a pretty good price. That means that someone paid $12 plus $5 shipping to buy this pillowcase. After Poshmark fees and the shipping discount, I made $6.37 on the pillowcase that I think, I, again, I spent about a dollar on. You do you, but what I think I'm going to do is stop buying random individual pillowcases and look more for sets. I think what really is going to sell better is when people have the fitted sheet and the flat sheet or both pillowcases or things that would come together as if you bought them from a store. My kids bedding is super random and it's all just like random interests that they've had over the years, but other people I imagine are looking for a more completed look for their kids. There is a lot of money to be made in bedding and like blankets, so I am going to continue to experiment in this, but yeah, single pillowcases, no more. And I think I'm going to avoid individual sheets. Like I think I'd prefer to pick up like a sheet and a fitted sheet to sell together as a set as opposed to individual. I did sell a Beauty and the Beast sheet one time. And again, it didn't get as much money as I expected, despite the fact that it's super cool and vintage. And I think it's because people are looking for that complete set. Drop a comment below if you sell bedding or if you sold random pillowcases. Let me know how it's gone for you and if you're cool buying things individually or if you also are leaning toward the set route like I am now. The next item that sold is actually a part of my A to Z thrift haul again from just a week ago. So these sold pretty quickly. These are new with tag, New Balance leggings. They have kind of more of like a yoga fit in my opinion. They had a wider leg, not like a tight skinny leg. Um, and these were given to me from a friend. So to sell them for $16 on Poshmark made me super pleased. This was actually the result of someone sending me an offer on the leggings. We went back and forth a bit, but we landed on 16. So after Poshmark fees, I make 1280. I was excited to see this offer pop up on my phone over the weekend. This is a Craftsman toolbox, a vintage Craftsman toolbox. It sold for $30 on eBay. What's really crazy is that this toolbox is like literally broken. The side panel is, well, firstly, the box is all rusty, as you can see in the pictures. The side panel is actually kind of broken down out of it. Now, I do think if you have welding skills, you could just prop it back up and weld it back on there. But yeah, this is basically a broken metal toolbox that sold for $30 on eBay. I think what's special about it is the logo, the size, it has that rust and patina, which is kind of cool for people, especially people that collect or want to put things on display. And it was made in USA. I do always look out for metal vintage toolboxes like this, but I don't think I've ever really picked one up. This actually was given to me by my husband. He was clearing out the garage. This toolbox had been given to him and he gave it to me to resell after realizing that he wasn't gonna use it very much. I know Craftsman is a good brand. I'm not sure what other brands to pick up when it comes to these vintage toolboxes. So if you have any experience in them, drop a comment below because really I think you can typically pick these up for about four or five dollars at most thrift shops and to be able to flip it for 30 or more, that's great. Shout out to my husband because yet again, this last sale is actually one of his items that he gave to me. It's a Cubs t-shirt that was celebrating the 2016 World Series. And for whatever reason, he decided he wasn't going to be wearing it much more and gave it to me to list. So this sold uh, for $12 on eBay. And after eBay fees, I make $9.50. The buyer did pay for shipping on that. So those are all of my sales last week, February 28th through March 6th. Um, like I said, I don't typically go through a week's worth of sales, but because this week was a little slow because... Well, I think everyone's kind of feeling the slowness, but I also was not listing more than like one or two items every other day. Um, I'm pretty pleased with what did sell and I'm excited to show it off to you in case you might be triggered at the thrift shop when you see some of these items to pick them up. I have no guarantees that things will pick up for me, but I do know that I'm hoping to get into a better flow of listing more regularly. Again, we will see what happens. Work is definitely picking up. I work full time but I have a lot of cool stuff to list and I'm really, really excited. I also have a new thrift series coming for you. So be sure to subscribe now because you will get to see $20 into question mark dollars. So you'll have to follow along to see what the heck that cryptic message was all about. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye.